Hey guys, before the video starts, I first want to thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. I can't believe there's a thousand of you guys who really liked my videos enough to subscribe. That's absolutely amazing. Second of all, there is a Google form in the description of this video where you guys can tell me what kind of videos you guys want to see. And I want to do a Q&A, Brown related content or just about me. So any questions you guys want to ask me, I'll answer. So fill out that Google form and link in bio or just comment in the video to uh, let me know what kind of content you want to see and just any questions you guys have for myself or Brown University in general. Without further ado, here's the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Today's a Monday, I just flew back from home. I was in DC all spring break. And as you can see, let me just take off the camera real quick off my tripod. See, I got all my stuff still here. I mean, the room is a little bit of a mess because I actually just flew in today. Um, I just went to class uh, at 9 a.m. I flew back into Providence at 8.05 a.m. And I just had some breakfast and I'm back in my room and I gotta do a lot of work because it's currently recruiting season and midterm season. So I got a lot to do. So we're gonna get started right away. Look at this, I, this is my view since I live on the first floor. Every single day, <clears throat> you'll see there's tours every day that come up here. <laughs> I get to hear what all the tour guides are saying, it's kind of funny. But anyways, all ready to go. I know the core situation isn't messy, the core that runs through here, but you know, because I leave my dorm room so often, running the, the, the MacBook charger behind my desk is just too pain, uh, too much of a pain for me to like, do that every single time. So I just run through that and it doesn't look as cool, but it's a lot more efficient. Just completed around two hours of work. It's currently 2 p.m. now and I'm just gonna go grab lunch with a friend. It is currently 3.40 p.m. Uh, I just had, I mean, I had lunch about like an hour ago. Uh, more work now. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little worried that this week's video is gonna be a little boring because it's just gonna be me, it's just gonna be me working the entire time because it's such a busy week for me, but here's the video nonetheless. Man on a mission. New store on the blog, J Life Mart. Uh, check it out. Run up the YouTube, like, and subscribe. <laughs> I just gotta drop that butt little, you know, keep the keep the form better. Let's go. That, that is a lot better. <laughs> 10 27 a.m. 12 17 a.m. We're still here. I mean, I didn't bother really recording too much. I literally wasn't, but I'm still here. And <laughs> it's a first day back from spring. Good morning guys, it's a Tuesday, 8.45 a.m. I have a 9 a.m. every single day of the week, so I have to go to that. Um, and yes, my room is currently a little messy. As you can see, there's stuff literally everywhere. And why is that? Well, as soon as I got to campus, my room yesterday, I had to go to class, as you saw, and I studied all day, so I just didn't have the time to clean up. But I will clean up today. And this is not very me. I know. I mean, you saw it for the last video. This is not me. This is really annoying, but yes. This is a very candid expression of how I'm feeling right now. It's currently 1025, I just got back from class. I have a networking call at 1030, so I'm gonna prepare for that.
Good morning, it's a Wednesday and it's currently 10.30 a.m. I usually wake up at 8 a.m. every single day, but I needed to sleep in today a little bit because I've been only getting like six to seven hours of sleep and I started having like a sore throat and I could feel it. I, I, I've been feeling more uh, sluggish. So, slept in a little bit. Um, now I'm gonna grab back breakfast super quickly and get back to work at the library. I just got out of a information session thing for internships for the next summer. Um, I don't think I recorded too much, honestly, on what was happening. I just went to the library and studied, so I just came back. Um, at 6 p.m., I'm gonna go have dinner now. I got rice, chicken, broccoli, and beans. Great combo. Who's still driving to? Jay on, right here. <laughs> The Brown yeah, Dining University. All right, test, test, test. Is that it? That is. <laughs> hey guys, quick update since like 7 p.m. Just been working and studying. Uh, it's currently 10:35 p.m. I think I'm gonna be pushing till maybe like 1, 1:30 a.m. and then call it a night. All right. Okay. Why would a liquidation valuation provide the highest value? It's just highly unusual, but it could happen if a company has substantial, had substantial hard assets, but the company severely undervalued for like an earnings miss or a cyclicality. So I'm feeling a little burnt out. I've been studying really hard for the past couple of days. And honestly, not school and honestly, just job related items. Um, this might sound stupid because you would expect like classroom stuff to appear in job interviews But because of our liberal arts education We really need to study outside of classes and honestly, I think it's good because my econ classes are theoretical It gives you like a very uh, critical mindset about how to view the economy in general But you know, there's some very niche and esoteric things you need to know for these interviews and it's it takes up a lot of time and be, I, it's, I feel a little behind and I get burnt out i'm human you know but you know i was just yelling at myself not yelling is a little exaggerating but i was just telling myself nothing good comes easy nothing good comes easy you can <coughs> i'm fine but nothing good comes easy just gotta keep pushing through good morning it's thursday Another busy day, been working since the morning. It's currently 10.44 a.m. I'm starving, I'm gonna go eat, uh, do a little work at the dining hall just by myself, and then come back because I got prepped for something and I got a, another important call around 4 p.m. today. Guys, really quick, this is crazy. 119 views per hour and a 10K, and we're at 605 subs. Guys, this is absolutely crazy. I'm working right now, but I just wanted to quickly say thank you so much for your support, and this really motivates me to create more videos. So again, thank you so much. I don't know if you guys watched, I don't know if you guys watched my Back to College Brown video. I'll link it in the description or pop it up here somewhere. But I talk about how I've always wanted to make more videos, but I've been nervous too because it's very different being in front of the camera compared to being behind it. So this is very still fresh and new to me. I feel a little awkward still being in front of the camera, but you know, this really motivates me. So thanks again, and I really appreciate the support, guys. Thank you. Currently 7.40, I just completed a couple of things for work, hence this uh, half suit. I don't have the suit pants on, obviously. Who does that? It's Zoom world. No one wears a full suit anymore. Um, but I didn't eat dinner yet, so I'm gonna go to the open dining halls to figure out something out because I'm starving. Currently 8 p.m. Uh, you know, I did. I realized I don't have time to eat because the gym is gonna close soon, so I'm gonna have a quick uh, protein shake and then head to the gym. All right. <laughs> I'm tired.
Bruh. Good morning guys, it's a Friday, uh, last day of the weekday. Uh, today I'm gonna be working on a take home midterm all day for one of my applied math courses. Uh, the test will be released at 11 a.m. and it will have to submit by basically 2 p.m. Uh, Saturday. So I'm just gonna be working on that the entire day and tomorrow. Um, so this, it's not gonna be really much fun things to record. So if, I'll see if I do record, but I just wanna give you guys a heads up on that's what I'll be doing all day. So yeah. I'm like, Purchase like factory and equipment and land that all in. And you would show up on Alan Sheed. Good morning, happy Saturday everybody. Uh, it's currently around like 9 a.m. Uh, I just woke up, uh, just brushed my teeth and stuff. Um, gonna go, ch gonna get changed to go on the run now. I'm not gonna be bringing my camera with me obviously because that'd be pretty insane. So I won't be able to record anything. Um, but I'll put up like the, the distance I ran and like uh, the, the route I ran because I'll be, uh, I'll be using my Apple Watch. Alright guys, time to go run. It's gonna be a four mile run today. I'll catch you guys later. Just came back from a five mile run. Instead of running four, we just decided to push for five. Um, we ran at a 9.36 pace. Uh, total time, 48 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, average heart rate was a little, uh, a little high at 159 beats per minute. I did some stretching. Um, I'm just gonna take a quick shower and then throw my stuff in the laundry because I just have a little too much <laughs> and I just haven't been able to get to that this week. Okay, you know how I, you know how I said I was gonna do laundry, but in the shower I just figured out how to solve the um, one of the questions I was stuck on in the midterm. So before that goes away, I'm gonna quickly just throw on some clothes and get to the question. And honestly, I might not be able to have breakfast in time, but I gotta get this question done because uh, uh, this the midterm is due in about three hours. Ooh. Oh, man, it does feel nice to be finally done. Um, but man, college math is so different from high school math. Like, I thought I was pretty darn good at math in high school. I mean, I got all the answers. I mean, like, it really wasn't that hard. It was just time consuming was all. Not even really. I just could, I was able to get, like, the week's homework done within, like, a night. And on Friday night, I'll just get it all done. Um, but here in college, uh, you run into questions like, what? questions you can't get the answers anymore. Uh, so that is, it's crazy. Oh, man. There's... It just, you just can't get an answer. Like it, I got an answer early and it diverged and I just didn't know what to do. I mean, the thing about like high school math, there's step one, step two, step three, but in college, it's like a tree diagram. You know, it's like you could go so many different ways from the original point where finding the right path is just so difficult. And there's just so many more things to keep track of. Um, so it's definitely a lot harder, but at the same time, I feel like when you get the answer that works, like for example, today I had to do like a double integral with two functions and it has to equal to one. Um, I think I got it. I think I got it. Uh, I finding that answer that fits that, you know, given uh, specifications, it's like finding like a key and you're opening and like, whoo, voila. Yeah, so that's what I love about it. Cool, all right, time to go. All right, Mike. Uh, what are we? Up, Jay's vlog. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are we up to? Wait, where are we headed? We're seeing Nate the Great versus Harvard. Hashtag We Love Nate. That's what that's what Ash would say. All right, guys, I think I'll be ending the vlog here because, uh, what's it called? I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing that I've been doing every single day tomorrow, which is a Sunday. I'm just gonna be prepping for school and working. I don't think it's gonna be too much fun to watch for you guys, and I just wanna get a video up ASAP because the support on the channel has been absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for that. So, 
If you guys like the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And please tell me in the video, uh, in the comment section, what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future, or just what you liked or didn't like about the video so I can improve. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.